for the children's five to eight and nine to 13 yellow belt requirements. This is to earn your green stripe, which is in striking and striking defense, uh, learning to use the jab, the cross, the hook, and then putting all three strikes together, uh, the jab, cross, hook, cross. So to demonstrate it first, from the side view, from the other side view. So here, here's how to perform each one of those strikes. The jab, from your ready stance. Okay? The jab is performed with your lead hand. Lead hand. Notice how the arm is extended. My shoulder is covering my jaw and I wanna emphasize hitting with your first two knuckles so again also as I'm doing that notice that my rear hand hand is up cup protecting the face my elbows down and in okay I'm still in my stance but my weight is shifted forward from the side okay. so you can see the shoulder covering the jaw the arm is extended Hitting with my first two knuckles, the rear hand or rear arm, elbows down and in. Okay. Opposite side. Shoulder covering the jaw, arms extended, hitting with my first two knuckles. From this side, you can see how my weight transfers forward. next punch is the cross. The cross is performed with the rear hand. Okay, so just as in the jab, your shoulder covers the jaw. Okay, arm is extended, hitting with your first two knuckles. What makes the, the cross different from the jab is if you look at the footwork, okay, with my heel, rear heel raised, Isolating just my my feet, not my hands. Notice, look at the pivot that I'm going to perform. Okay, so I want the knee of my rear leg to point to the back of my lead leg. Notice how my heel is raised. So again, just isolating the, the pivot. One more time from the side. Again, just isolating on the, on, the, on the feet for now, not my hands. So you see the rotation on the hips. Okay. And as you're pivoting, the hips rotating as well as also the shoulder. So looking at the cross again, okay. and notice how the opposite hand, hand is up, Elbows down and in. The third punch or third strike is known as the hook. So from our ready position, okay, the hook that we perform is done off the lead leg instead of the rear. So looking at my footwork first, my rear heel is going to drop while my lead heel comes up off the ground and I pivot in the same direction as my hook. So watch carefully. So again, rear heel drops, pivoting on the foot of my lead leg heel. So I want my foot, my knee, all to point in the same direction as my hook. Look carefully at the at the hook itself. The elbow's down, okay, but then you lift the elbow up. The hand orientation can be either horizontally or vertically. It's a matter of individual preference. Also, when you do the hook, I also want my shoulder to cover my jaw. 
Okay. So just looking at the uh, at the uh, action of the the punch itself. Okay. Common mistake is when um, uh, people do the hook, they go way past, or they overcommit, which is not what you which is you know, what you don't need to do, or what you don't want to do. So looking at the lead hook entirely with the strike and the footwork, it looks like this. Okay. Again. Okay. And again, the hand can either be horizontal or vertical. Okay. The side view. Okay. The other side view. Now combining the jab, the cross, and the hook. So let's examine the footwork first. On the jab, okay, I'm shifting my weight forward by rolling on the back of my rear heel or rear ball of the foot. On the cross, I'm gonna pivot. And a good way to know, indicate that you're pivoting is you, you're noticing that the shoulder is turned. On the hook, my rear heel drops as my lead heel comes up. Okay. So if you look at just the cross and the hook combined, cross, hook, cross, hook. Elvis Press, think of Elvis Presley. Okay. So now adding the jab, the cross, and the hook. Jab, cross, hook cross okay and that is the first punching combination uh, that the children learn in striking and striking defense from the side jab Some things to note when performing any of those punches, for example, in the jab, hand is up, elbows down. In the cross, hand is up, elbows down. In the hook, hand is up, elbows down. Okay? So what I'm trying to say is the hand that's not being used or the non-punching hand, hand always has, has to stay up and elbow in and always has to stay up and elbow in. So again, the jab, cross, hook. Now the combination again. Okay. Give those a try.